So the first video of this treehouse was basically just kind of showing you my thought process on um, how I'm going to do things, some uh, wood carving the shingles and burning in the door and then the branches coming up around. I'm, I think now um, I'm going to use the wood burner. This is just a cheap one I got on Amazon. This is my favorite wood burner because it's got the big, huge, thick handle on it and it doesn't overheat in your hand because I always basically just wood burn at maximum heat. The first video I used the Ram iCube. You guys can just go to um, Ram Products on, uh, you can find the Ram Products on um, Google and you can find the iCube. This is a very affordable micro carver. I believe it is 220 US dollars and it is much better than a Dremel carver. That's for sure. It's quieter. Uh, it's way better for detailing and um, well, it's just a way better unit. So we're going to do some more wood burning on this. All right. So. The wood burning. This is a super soft wood. It's, um, I believe it's cotton wood, bone dry, a piece I found on the beach. So how do you want to do your wood burning inside this tree house? Because you think a tree house, if the trees like this and the branches grow up around it, you know, this is part of the tree, but you just carved out a house. Anyways, it's totally fantasy. You can do what you want to do. I'm going to go along and burn underneath these branches again. I don't want to spend too much time on this, like I said in the first video, because this is just kind of like a template, a prototype. So there's, you can do like, um, I think what we'll do is like make it look like there's boards nailed on here. So let's just start off like this. a board you know it could help if you did a uh, pencil first I'm just kind of winging it but you know they didn't have power tools when they made this tree house so everything could be all crooked and nothing nothing needs to be perfect so we'll just keep going across here We'll continue these boards up there after. Just want to give you guys, just trying to show you how my mind works, really. So we need to go around this door here. Uh, most of you probably are like, oh, geez, I better stop watching this channel then because that's the last thing I want to know is how Jordy minds, Jordy's mind works. And I don't blame you. So see you later. <laughs> okay. So I went a bit too high on the door there. Now all you do is just kind of stagger. You can think of it as like bricks or whatever. So these will be the boards on the tree house. Right? And then you just put a little nail holes in it. Boom. 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 Dun, da, da, dun, 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 dun. So you kind of see how that goes. Now you got a little freaking treehouse with boards on it. Yep, I'm going to finish this all up and I'll be back. All right, so I did the boards, the planks on there. It would just be like fence boards or whatever they did back in the day when they carved this treehouse out. I'm not going to do any wood burning on the um, trunk of the tree because I can do that with paint. So I will use this later on like um, one of my things with the base and I'm going to put some lights, in, a light in the door. I could have carved a window on there, but um, I didn't. So up the bottom there will be a light going up through there to the door and I'll epoxy the window. But that's for a total different thing. Um, about this Ram Products iCube Carver, somebody said they're $220 now. I just went to the Ram site and I looked and they're $185. Maybe I'm wrong, but this is an awesome carver for details and for even carving something like this. It's, um, it's just, I'm not trying to sell the Ram Products to you. I'm just saying this is a very good carver if you want to get into more detailed carving. Um, I 
I did talk to Ram last year. I think they sent this one to me as a gift. I'm not too sure. But, you know, you get bigger ones like this. This one here has the um, quarter inch bit on it, right? This is the bigger one. This is like a $1,000 unit. But this one, $185. I forget what the, if you want to buy one, I'm going to leave the the link to Ram's site in the description below. You'll If you're on a computer, it will say more. Hit that more button and you'll take you to the Ram site. I think it might take you right to this iCube. But you might want to send Ram a message, say that you're from Carving Fusion, and that there's a special code to save yourself 5 or 10%. I don't make any money from um, Ram. I don't want to make any money from Ram. Um, we're not, I'm not an affiliate of Ram. We're just friends from last year, if they even remember who I am. I hope they do, because uh, I haven't been using their products that much in my videos, because I've been doing mostly uh, chainsaw carving videos on my other channel but winter's here and i'll be using this a lot more to do things like this so the description to get to the ram site is listed below it's 185 dollars for this iq american um but like i said when you're buying it you might want to message ram they're great people and ask them if there's a carving fusion code to save yourself a couple extra bucks i think it's five percent or ten percent don't hold me to it. I, probably 5%. Anyways, now I got to figure what I, how I want to paint this. You know, for my bigger chainsaw carving, for all you that are following on my other channel, this is just a replica of that. But I'm not going to do painting on my bigger carving. But I am going to paint this. So like you think, this is a tree here. It's coming up. The branches are coming up. And there's a, they carved this out. And I don't know. The branches grew up or whatever you want to think. I don't know what color I should paint it. I just don't friggin' know. I'm thinking like this part brown, then the roof brown, then maybe the house yellow. I don't friggin' know. I, I just don't know. I'm, I'm not good at painting little things like this. I don't know. You know, really, nobody says you have to paint this. You don't have to paint it. I just kind of set this up for painting. But, you know, you could burn, wood burn down here and then um, put a clear coat on it. And I don't know, but I just kind of decided that I felt like painting it, which is stupid me because, well, whatever. Okay, so painting the uh, treehouse. I got some brown here. Just, that's just everything's acrylic. Just basically dollar stuff, some lighter brown. I got some green some other brown, and some black. What I'm going to do first of all is um, I'm going to carve all this tree and the branches this solid brown. I'll wait for it to dry a bit. Then in the deeper spots, I'll do some black. And in the higher spots, I'll do some, uh, well, not black, but I'll mix up the black with this brown and make it a bit darker brown. Then the higher spots, I'll put the uh, lighter brown on it. I'm still not sure what color I'm going to paint this house. And the door and the roof, but um, maybe that will come to me once I um, start painting this stuff. So as you can see here, I'm just gonna paint all this the normal brown. This will this will look kind of cartoony, I think, but that's okay. It's um, it is what it is. So how about I get all this painted brown up to the burn line that I got in there for the door. So I got a smaller brush here too. And this brush is a piece of junk. It'll just need to be broken in a bit. That's what you get when you get uh, dollar store brushes. They're not very good. But, you know, I, I uh, waste so many brushes. I just buy them from the dollar store. I don't need an expensive paintbrush to do something like this. Okay, so I'll get this uh, painted. Then we'll come back and we'll do some... Uh, well, yeah, just let me paint all this. Then the branches up here. Doesn't matter if you hit the house because you're going to paint that too. Who knows? Maybe I'll paint that house red, yellow, green. You can paint it any friggin' color you want to paint it. I'm even going to paint this part brown too around the door. Right here. All right, so I'll get this part done and then I'll be back. Okay, so I got it all uh, painted here, the tree base thing. Oops, 
miss some spots. That's why uh, lighting so important. Move your pieces around. Make sure you got everything. Yeah, like look at that huge spot I missed in there. So, anyways. Now, what I'm going to do is I got some black paint here. Kind of wipe it off on the paper. Kind of just dry brush in the um, deeper spots. Like I want it to be pretty black inside. Um, can you guys see this on camera? Pretty black inside that. That's the deepest spot of the carving. Um, I'm not the best painter. And I'm not the biggest fan of having to paint these little carvings. But it's, it's relaxing to do. And, you know, it could make your piece look better. So if you want to do it, then do it. So I don't know if you guys can see too well on this uh, thing, but uh, all the deeper spots, I'm going to lightly put some black in there. This is pretty fuzzy wood, actually. Like I said, I don't know how well you guys can see on camera. But I'm um, like, look at all that fuzz there. So when I see that fuzz, that means I didn't sand it good enough. When I see that fuzz, I just kind of push it over with the brush and um, let it dry like that. Hopefully it stays down. <laughs> all right. Um, let's do this black and then we'll do the brighter stuff. Okay, so I got, you guys can see the high and low points now. So I got a little bit of uh, paint here. I'm just going to kind of put a little bit of this on the high paints. You know, I, on the high points, I really should have waited for this um, paint to dry. But, um, or I should have dried it off with my air, hot air gun. But I didn't, so that's that so there you guys can see the colors kind of differences there now um, we're gonna give this I'm gonna give this a black wash anyways so the colors will blend in um, not blend in but um, the black wash will really help this piece kind of uh, look not so cartoonishy with this paint on here and uh, black wool I didn't even really need to do the black in these deep spots but I just thought you know you're kind of I, I I'm enjoying this actually right now so just have fun and just do what makes you happy if you're uh, not happy with your painting job the good thing about painting is you could always repaint it. You could paint over the paint, right? So I'll get all this done, and then uh, we'll figure out the house and then the roof. Okay, so there you can see the tree is painted. I think I'm going to do the house gray. And, well, I got some gray mixed up here already. I just used some black and white. And then uh, the roof, maybe green or red. Don't know yet, but I'll paint this off screen and uh, I'll be back. Okay, so I'm not too sure if you guys caught on what I was doing there. That was my heat gun. I held it on high and I was burning the paint. See the roof? Yep, I was burning it just to uh, give it more character. Right? Why can't you? You know, I was thinking about this and um, I thought, oh man, maybe I shouldn't have did it red and green with a, a gray door. But, you know, who cares? It's totally fantasy. Some people might be like, oh, well, how is he going to get into that door? There should be a door down here, too. Well, like I said earlier, this is going to be um, later Later this winter, I will be putting this onto a base with some, like a tree around it or something. There's uh, maybe a little gnomes, but I'm going to carve a little ladder to uh, go up to that door. So now it's time to, um, you could do the black wash whenever you want. I think this wood is so porous, means it sucks the paint in like crazy um 
I'm going to give it the mod a mod podge first. I'm going to mod podge it down. Then I'm going to um, wait till tomorrow till the mod podge dries. Then I will um, give it the black wash after the mod podge. So I'll get this wood's still warm, so this mod podge will dry pretty quick. They say 24 hours for it to really cure. So I'm going to put this on tonight, and then tomorrow we'll do the black wash and we'll uh, call her done. And yes, I know it's been crooked that way the whole time. Don't care. So yes, I actually waited a day. The Mod Podge has been dry for 24 hours. Can we get some better lighting on this? I did carve that door back a little bit too much. Don't care. The branches on the side are a little bit too big. Don't care. It's crooked. I know it, and I just don't care. So I don't really need to black wash this. It doesn't need it. But I mix them up anyways. Here's some uh, acrylic black paint and some water, like uh, really diluted. So what I'm going to do is put the camera in the overhead and um, do this, go over this whole piece with this black wash, then wipe it off with a rag. And that's how you make it even look more antiqued. All right, one for the money. You can see how um, hollow I carved inside that uh, door. Like I said, later on, I'm going to put a light in there. So here's the black wash. And just put it on there. This is actually, I didn't do this, this batch to black. Like I put more water in, in the wash itself. Than I, know. I, usually, I usually make my black wash actually pretty thick. So like, um, meaning more black. But... Um, Anyways, so I might as well get the roof too. What this does, so you know, you'll see the roof things there. What this does is when I wipe this off, this black will stay inside the low spots where I carved. So it gives you that kind of better shadow effect, if that makes sense to you. You're just going to have to try it for yourself. I know lots of wood carvers um, use it. This car, Rob uses it. Ben's studio on the lake uses it. Okay, so we got that wiped on the first part of it. And um, man, this old rag is getting to be a really, really old rag. And you just wipe it off. Which is a little bit tricky for this one because there's so many dips and gullies in here the, between the branches and stuff like that. So. How would I get this all black washed and then uh, we can finish this video? How about that, huh? So there you go. There's your silly little tree house. Um, I try my best to learn from my mistakes. Get some better lighting here. I try my best to learn from my mistakes. The big mistake that I made on this piece on this time, and I hope you guys can learn from this too, is... I should have let that paint really dry before I put the Mod Podge on. Just because it looked dry doesn't mean it was dry. I should have given it a good 24 hours to dry, then Mod Podge it, then do your black wash after that. Because I can see on some parts here, I don't know if you can see, but where the, you can see the, well, I did see the white, the Mod Podge didn't dry perfectly clear because it was trying to dry over wet paint. So what I had to do is I had to go back, make my black wash a lot thicker, like way thicker, and almost paint this whole thing black and wipe it off to get rid of any white that's going to show up from the Mod Podge. But I think it turned out. I think it's pretty neat. And um, I got a bigger one to do here. I don't know when I'm going to be able to get to it because I'm starting to get lots of messages and I hope you guys are getting lots of messages for Christmas carvings like Christmas trees and all that stuff and Santa gnomes and stuff. So um, let me sh put the next template replica piece beside this one. It's not my I just don't know if I want to Dremel carve this one. It might be a little bit too big for Dremel carving. That's a Western Red Cedar. Yep. Anyways, here's the first treehouse replica. Crime Fusion and crafts and hobbies and that uh, over and out.